Do you want to learn about giant bubbles and how to make them? Well then keep watching, in this video we'll show you how to make them. JoJo Science Show! Hello, welcome to JoJo Science Show. Today we're going to make giant bubbles. <laughs> molecule is like a spoon with a head that likes water and a tail that doesn't like water. The walls of bubbles are like a water sandwich. The soap molecules assemble so that the heads point towards the water and the tail points to the air and forms a film. See, it's like a soap and water sandwich. So how do we make giant bubbles? Bubbles burst when enough water evaporates and breaks the film. So to make giant bubbles, we need something to prevent the water from evaporating. Cornstarch can hold water in. Cellulose can also hold water in. Both of these have hydroxyl groups, which are oxygen and hydrogen. Both like the water. It holds the water and prevents it from evaporating easy. Pretend this is the section of a bubble wall. These little river stones represent water. The spoons are the soap molecules. The head likes water and the tail doesn't like water, so the head is facing the water and the tail is facing away from the water. Starch or cellulose is like a long chain of sugar. When we dissolve it in the mixture, it becomes stronger and holds in the water. And the starch makes the film stronger and prevents it from evaporating and breaking the film. That allows it to get bigger and do a bunch of stuff that normal bubbles can't do. Today we're going to try two recipes. So let's try this recipe. In this recipe, we start with 12 cups of water. Add one cup of liquid dish soap. Now we have to add one cup of cornstarch. Now we're gonna add two tablespoons of baking powder. This helps dissolve the cornstarch. Take a long spoon and mix up your bubble mixture. This is a giant bubble wand. Now the fun part, we get to go try out our recipe. And you can adjust how big you want your bubble. I want it big. Hmm. <laughs> Let's try to make this bubble by blowing. Ooh, it's a double bubble. Do you see how the big bubble can split and change shape? Not all bubbles can do that. That's because the starch chain makes the bubble film stronger. That's awesome. Next, we're gonna try this other mixture. My bubble thing, big bubble mix. First, you have to pour in 16 cups of water or four quarts into the bucket. Next, you need a cup of dishwashing liquid, like this one. What dishwashing liquid? Add two tablespoons of the bubble thing powder. Cool. Whee! Really 
Today you learned bubble science and how to make really big bubbles. Thanks for watching JoJo Science Show. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to my channel so you can see all my fun videos and hit the bell so your computer will remind you whenever I come out with a new video. And remember kids, science is fun! Cellulose. <laughs> Cellulose. <laughs> Cellulose. Both of these have hydropsal groups. <laughs> Both of these have hydropsal groups. <laughs> I said it again! <laughs>